Hey yo guys, what's happening? It's your boy Rain TJ back again with another episode of Just a Thought. And today I thought I'd share one of my ideas with you that I've been holding on for a while. And um, it's been like maybe four years that I've had this idea and I've been like sketching it out, doing a little research here and there to see if it's applicable, if I could actually do it. And this year, well, late last year, 2020 was when I started doing things to actually try to achieve this goal and you know i ran into some things and it's changed along the way there's only so much i could talk about but i figured i'd just share this thought with you and you know do a little unboxing video as well it's my first ever unboxing so yeah all right oh okay So, we got the uh, memory card and the pack. I just opened this and then we'll get started. See what else is in there. I also figured I'd get the uh, Mavic Air too because it just seemed reasonable for its cost and its functionality. All right, let's start off with this actually. Let's see what's in this. What's this? This. Uh, this is probably the propellers and something. So I try to pull this out this way. I guess everything's in here. Okay. So, open the bag this is the first thing I see. And then we have the controller. This is where you would put your phone. Do it this way. And you would put your phone like that. And um, you would connect your All right, not bad. Then we have the battery station. Charge multiple batteries at once. And then, yeah, the drone. This is the uh, gimbal case. Let's read all of these things and then I'll get back to you. So the idea I had was Imagine a personal mailing like drone. Um, I was thinking if like you could, you know, there's an app and you wanted to mail something under like a pound or half a pound, you could request a drone to come to you and you put uh, your package, put it in the drone, however the drone is shaped or however, and it carries it to the location. Um, see, first this idea came to me during college in my beginning uh, years, I guess my first semester or something, in like 2017. And I was thinking, cause I had to take a bus to go home. And anytime I needed something from my mother, we'd either have to mail it or, you know, go back and forth, mail to each other, or I'd have to take a bus and take a near three hour trip home just to, you know, and some of these packages were just pretty light. And one day I remember thinking like, I wish there was a way I could just send this package to her and not have to mail it, you know? If there was a drone, I could just do that. So this year, well, not this year, I keep saying this year. Um, so in 2020, I finally started like seeing what it is I needed to do in the real world to achieve making this drone company that provides that service um i wanted to be able to provide you know literally that where college kids could or anyone could request a drone or send a drone to a location and have something very small be inserted in the drone i was trying to come up with you know different ways to like 
redesign a drone or build a drone from scratch that would you know like keep the package safe and all these things a whole bunch of stuff it's been a couple of years worth of um ideas and sketches and you know just one of those small projects that i just always kept alive and you know this year <laughs> i found that i needed a part 107 license to use a drone commercially so i've been studying for that license for a while and i've been uh, doing my research for like the past three months on the faa articles and regulations and what's allowed and what's not allowed and what's possible and what's not possible and because of a few of their own the sections of their article you know related to this i'm not able to do what i initially wanted to do because of one i'm an individual person <laughs> and i need i need I would need a massive team to get that exemption because you could get exemptions and and stuff but this one see what the FAA requir requires is a drone must remain in the line of sight of the operator and no exemption for that will allow you to carry cargo with that drone for hire or compensation so what that means to me is that if I can't see the drone, then I can't carry weight on it uh, for a fee, you know what I mean? So that would be entirely pointless because if I could see the drone, I probably could drive to work or deliver it that way. So yeah, that said, I won't be able to do all that. But I will definitely be able to do other things and provide other services. And I just thought I'd share that with you and show you a little unboxing. All right, guys. So, like I said, I got the Mavic Air, uh, the Mavic Air 2. And um, right now I'm just trying it out by the Philadelphia Art Museum. This is a statue right in front of uh, the museum. And... Yeah, I'm just seeing how it comes out. And then while returning from the statue, I saw this like church while flying. So I went over there and took a quick, uh, just a quick few shots. So there you have it. Um, this is kind of what it looks like on my very first try uh, using it. But I intend to get a fleet of drones. And if you, uh, if you, if you're interested in being a part of this, then let me know, you know, uh, hit me up in the DMs. We could talk about it or, you know, whatever, because I can see where there's a future where um, there's like a highway of drones just flying far above your head where you're not hearing the noise per se, but um, we'll figure it out. But I see that future coming for sure. So um, you have a good day. And that was just a thought with our NTJ. All right, bye, everybody.